What up, everybody? For season one, JP was able to obtain Kate's number after her mother, Miriam, died. She didn't have much to say when JP called her. I'm sure she was a bit shocked, but she immediately hit the highway and was on her way to Chicago. But not to reunite with her long lost son, or at least that wasn't her top priority. Kate's top priority was going to Miriam's old house to start busting down the walls looking for money. After Deep Matt got shot, JP needed paperwork and sent Tommy to Miriam's to pick it up, where he bumped in to Kate. Thinking a crackhead broke in, Tommy pulled out his gun, but it was just Kate. Kate told Tommy Miriam had thousands hidden in the walls and that it had something to do with her troubles. She also said that Miriam smoked three packs of cigarettes a day. It was at this point that Kate found out that she was a grandmother and wanted to go to the hospital to see her grandson. When we met Miriam Egan, she was already in the nursing home and had some issues. When Tommy went to visit her, she wouldn't speak. Then Tommy showed her a picture and told her he was her grandson, Tommy. Miriam said, Tommy? And smiled for a brief moment before going back to her same sad look and not saying anything else. Keep in mind that Tommy's whole life, he had been told that his grandmother was dead. And it wasn't until he showed up in Chicago that he found out she was living. So obviously, Miriam had secrets that Kate didn't want Tommy finding out about. Obviously, JP would have been one of those secrets. But Miriam obviously also had secrets of her own. What were her troubles that she had money hidden in the walls? And why were her nerves so bad that she smoked three packs of cigarettes a day? Like Tariq St. Patrick once said, everyone has secrets. And we could definitely see the money in the walls come into play at some point when Tommy is desperate and has to make a payment deadline. Coincidentally, JP and his father Herman didn't come back into the picture until Miriam was already in the nursing home. So JP was not able to discover any of Miriam's secrets. But I don't think it was no coincidence at all. I believe this was intentional by Herman, JP's father, because he has secrets of his own. When JP told Herman that he had contacted Kate, Herman had a worried look on his face and said, what did she say? Worried that Kate might have exposed one of his secrets to JP. JP was told that Kate abandoned JP at the hospital when he was one day old and never returned. But what if that is not true? What if Herman took JP from Kate and fled town or something like that? We know they went somewhere because they didn't come back until the picture until JP was an adult and Miriam was already in the nursing home. After Herman asked JP what Kate said, he then tried to discourage JP from calling Kate again by telling him that Kate is not going to have what he's looking for. Then there was the story of JP going to the park. Herman told Tommy that he stopped taking JP to the park because JP would be staring at all the other kids at the park with their mothers. But Herman told JP that he stopped taking him because of all the violence. I think it could be the real reason why Herman stopped taking JP to the park was because Kate might have started showing up to the same park with Tommy. Keep in mind of the picture that JP discovered of himself with Tommy running in the background. What was all that about? At one point in time, 
Tommy and JP were at the same place at the same time, but didn't actually meet each other. Maybe Kate and Herman were having an adult conversation. And whatever happened during this conversation caused Kate to leave Chicago for good and never return. Tommy said he was four years old when his mother told him that his grandmother died. Also, similar to how Kate told Tommy that his father was dead and that his grandma was dead, Herman told JP that Kate was dead. When Kate had JP, Herman was only 17 years old and said he wouldn't continue the cycle, but he was going to do right by this baby. Was that making sure that Kate, maybe even her family, was not a part of JP's life? Now fast forwarding to our current timeline. Episode 1, Tommy offered Kate a bag of coke. And for once, Kate actually turned it down and said she was trying to stay off that stuff. Is there a chance that the real reason why Kate got hooked on coke in the first place was the depression of being separated from her son? Because it seems like from the time she's hooked up with JP and DMAC, she has been a completely different person. Kate has been in Chicago for a few weeks now, and JP has had a chance to ask some questions if he wanted to. We did not see Kate, JP, or DMAC in episode 2, and Herman has been ghost since Kate showed up on the scene. JP was also running his father's bar, but it seemed like he abandoned that because Tommy bought him another bar so he could be debt free. Also, Herman has a medical condition and JP was supposed to be taking care of him. And I'm sure that Herman would have also wanted to see DMAC because he hasn't seen him since he was a little boy either. Not to mention that Kate is going to be moving to Chicago sometime soon. She might even be in the process of moving right now. And that may be why we didn't see her in episode 2. Either way, there will only be a matter of time until Herman bumps into Kate and they have a big family reunion. And when are these mysteries going to be answered concerning Miriam? The picture of JP with Tommy in the background. And what really happened to cause Kate not to be a part of JP's life. There you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.